Encounters is a place in the spirit that proves that a man have enjoyed sufficient separation from the world system. So he's entering into another civilization where he will be told what he will take back into the world system. If you study the scriptures, you will discover that everybody that made a mark had an encounter of some sort with the spirit of god because it's not a product of intelligence your wisdom your intelligence your ideology you picked all of them from the world system some of them you picked from the university some of them you picked from the families around you some of them you picked from the market you coordinate them together and you call them ideologies you call them philosophy but you picked them the only way you can receive a pure knowledge that have not been corrupt is when that spirit alters it into your spirit man and when you come down that encounter becomes the beginning of your journey you heard our father in the lord yesterday said the spirit spoke to him for nine seconds and nine seconds have defined 18 years of his life that's the power of encounters your life have no definition until you've begin you've begun to encounter the spirit the things it tells you will define your life it will define your essence it will bring meaning to everything you do but you have to respond to the wounds the promptings the summons of that spirit you have to keep the demands of consecration of that spirit until you reach the mountain of encounter it took Moses 40 years He said for 40 years he was grazing in the wilderness until he came to Horeb, the mountain of God. Until he came there. Israel was in captivity. God had uttered his voice by prophetic decree that they would be in bondage for 400 years. They had already exceeded 400. God was not moved. If you like, come and say, come on, God, is, God doesn't exist. Was he not him that says 400 years? Has he not passed 400 years? God is a lie. He doesn't change anything. He was not elected. Your whole generation can revolt and reject him. At the end, you'll discover you made the wrong choice. He will still be there. And another generation will come. Somebody else will find him. And he will come back and begin what he was doing. And your generation that rejected him will be forgotten. And then you will discover with this spirit he can't lose. So your greatest wisdom is cooperation. <laughs> 40 years Moses was moving until he came to Horeb, the mountain of God. And God began to tell him, go back to Egypt. You wanted to use your ability and your, your mind. You can't kill all the Egyptians. Even if you were to kill them, you can't kill them. And even if you kill them, what I want to do is not in Egypt. So there were a lot of deficiencies. There were a lot of knowledge gaps. What you will do is that you will go back to Egypt and carry them from Egypt to the land that I will show you. So the thing was not about taking the economy of Egypt. It was not about taking the land of Egypt. I have something in my mind. Your job is to carry them out. Without that encounter, I would not have known. And secondly, this hand they are using to kill Egyptians is the Egyptians is deficient. How many will you kill? What will I do? What are you carrying in your hand? Is a rod. Drop it down. And the rod of Moses became the rod of God. And Moses began another order because he had an encounter. Let me give you a list of few persons that had encounters and the deficiencies they were separated from. And then I will tell you three things that will happen to you when you begin to have an encounter. And then we'll trust God for, for something. Abraham's encounter separated him from idolatry. 
they were a people of darkness they had priesthood in darkness that encounter was what separated him from idolatry Moses' encounter delivered him from the forces of Egypt you know the Bible said Moses was terrorized when Pharaoh rose against him there are many things you can't stand against in Ghana unless you have an encounter if you think it's about zeal and boldness when the horrors of the spirit of this land rises you now discover that your boldness is a function of your soul and your soul will bend so Moses stood up I, I will deliver Israel until Pharaoh rules with wrath Moses ran he didn't know where his boldness was because it was not born in the spirit how did you tell us that um, anything not born in the spirit will be, will be dwarfed when the spiritual thing appears he ran so that encounter delivered him from the fear of the forces of Egypt the Bible said he saw him that was invincible Daniel had encounters with God that delivered him from the corrupting influence of Babylon so Daniel was pure in Babylon they said they sought an offense against him and found none except in his worship with to his God so he was perpetually locked up to God and that was how he led and brought direction to Israel in captivity without corruption according to Bible history Daniel served in Babylon for 65 years Samuel was delivered from the naivety the forces of naivety you know when you are a child there are many things God wants to do but can't be achieved he said the child Samuel served before the Lord but he was a child until encounters began to come first Samuel chapter 3 verse 1 first Samuel chapter 3 verse 21 and he said the Lord revealed himself again to Samuel in Shiloh by the word of the Lord so it gave him a wisdom that was superior to everything that his age constituted as a disadvantage for him and he grew in the strength of that encounter Jeremiah was held down by fear until an encounter showed up and all of a sudden he entered the word entered his bones like fire even when he didn't want to speak he couldn't keep quiet Isaiah was held down by thrones a messianic prophet but could not utter the oracles of God because there were thrones that held him down but he said in the year that King Uzziah died I saw the Lord something changed and instantly began to give the messianic prophecies so long as those thrones existed there was no way he could deliver what was in his spirit for his generation this is why when a spirit begins to woo a man it is in his opinion his best interest to follow that spirit and to shut down every force that negates the wooing of that spirit because your deficiencies cannot be swallowed up unless you come into the radar of the spirit that is wooing you it is when those deficiencies are swallowed up that you appear in your brightest colors what you call your advantage in the natural can become a big disadvantage charisma can become a disadvantage because it will make you not to be sensitive to the movement of the spirit until you see that spirit you will never know that your charisma is your greatest body meanwhile in the natural it can open few doors it can bring few commendation but you can't do spiritual business because that charisma it is the light of god that will reveal to you the way to bring administration to it without it being a body that your zeal to make things happen if you don't see or have an encounter with the spirit that has the oracle of your destiny it may become a burden and it will make you to misfire many times and you will walk in error for a long time things that should bring glory to God you will destroy them because you are zealous and your zeal cannot be coordinated because you've not had a knowledge that shows you the things that matter you don't understand spiritual priorities and precedences your zeal will become a body so those drawings of God 
they bring us the first equipping for kingdom advantage and the way it is done is on the mountain of encounter paul was a terror to the church he was supposed to be a builder of the church but he was tearing the church down until an encounter came and he realized he was a wise master builder not a terrible destroyer of the church without that encounter his energy his zeal and his ability would have negated the requirements of his destiny what he was doing he thought he was serving god he thought he was pleasing the lord because he excelled of all his brethren he excelled in the ways of god but he channeled his energy in the wrong direction because encounters had not come to give him perspective imagine how mightily gifted our father is if god had not told him the youth the youth the youth by this time i'm sure he would have had a church in united kingdom because there would have been many sponsors <laughs> what are you, come, what are you doing in africa come come but the youth the youth the youth kept him on campus for 18 years the the power the utterance would have would have would have become what the devil will use to take you off track so encounters come to show you the direction that you must go encounters come to remove your weaknesses and to equip you for destiny and when these encounters begin they begin to shape you it's when they begin to shape you that you begin to enter into sonship because the business of kingdom is for sons if a man is not a son he can't do kingdom business